everyone, my name's Angela and uh, sorry I've been away for a while but guess what we've got today, we've got a charity shop haul and this is my September finds so because I'm trying to do more um, sustainable clothing although I have been out in the sales to the normal shops um, I will be doing quite a lot of charity shop hauls so if you like this thing Please subscribe down below so you can um, follow along and also hit the notification bell and you'll know when I'm uploading because I'm not, I'm sorry I'm not one of these YouTubers that does it Monday, Wednesday, Friday or have a set day. It's as and when I can fit around work, family and goodness knows what. So <laughs> in the busy life that we have. So it takes the pressure off but I promise you I will continue with charity shop hauls and plenty of other things to come. And also, just a quick update, I've been working on my other uh, channel, that's why I've been so busy, um, because we've been doing travel. So that is with my husband, so that's Adventures with Angela and Wayne, if you'd like to follow along with that. Um, so that will be um, mainly over 40s travel, um, you can follow along if you're younger, I don't mind because I'll be doing lots of different things at the moment. We've just done the NC500 and a few other bits this year, so please follow along if you'd like to see anything on travel. Anyway, so today is my September finds, um, and it is hot outside. I do apologize if you hear any background noise. Um, I think I've got a carpenter living nearby because he's always sawing wood. But that's fine, he's being creative, that's fine. But I'll just apologize if you can hear it in the background because I have to have the windows open because it is sweating in here. <sighs> and that's a bit more going towards my age where I sweat easier. But it is really, really hot in here. It is warm. So I've got the windows wide open and um, it's a lovely sunny day and uh, glorious September at the moment. So if you are not in the UK and you follow overseas, um, a charity shop haul is like a thrifting haul, um, secondhand finds and bargains. So I'll show you what um, I've bought. If I get a chance, I will try on. I can't promise, a bit body conscious. And we'll see what time we get. But I'm going to show you what I've bought because that is the main thing. So I can get them washed and I can actually wear them. Because the sun's out and I want to wear them. Right, okay. So first up, I didn't just go to one charity shop. I went to quite a few. Um, I actually had... Good little tip for anyone if you want a girly day out. Um, basically, what we try and do... Um, I've got a friend that likes charity shops as well. So... Um, Every now and again, we say, let's have a girly day. We don't go to cinema. We don't go crazy for lunch. We'll have a small lunch out, a coffee or whatever. And um, all we will do, and we are strict with ourselves, all we will do is go in charity shops. But we have such a good day. We might come away with nothing. We might spend £2, £5, £20. But it's a really good day. It's like treasure hunting, to be honest. So um, recently, it was my birthday, because I'm a September birthday girl. Um, so my husband actually kindly said I'll give you money and you can go and have your girly day which was perfect so um, even though I have bought some bits in the sale in other shops and that's another haul to come I am trying to avoid that but that was my birthday money too so what I do oh god am I sweating what I will do I will get along and show you these and I will say the charity shops they're from in the UK now I'm based in Essex which is probably an hour outside of London. Um, I know that there's some areas, because I'm actually really jealous if you come from other areas where this happens, you can go into charity shops and you can buy stuff for like a pound or a dress for a pound or a top for a pound. Now down here in Essex, mm -mm, there is one place that we have got that I go to locally and that's like a warehouse one where all that uh, charities shop stuff goes to um, and they will sell their stuff off for a pound but there's not many, it's few and far between. So the thing, things that I buy might seem a little bit more expensive for people in other areas of the country but I know charity shops like there's the main ones are all up and down the country. So we'll try and tell you where these are from. Okay, so this first one, I've left the tags on and I really want to get these in the wash. This is the PDSA. Um, PDSA. Oh, you might have to fill me in on that one. Put it down in the comments. PDSA, is that animals? 
oh please let me know because i do love supporting animals i normally give to the dog shelter but anyway carry on so this is a dorothy perkins cover-up i am going on another holiday soon so this will be really handy so another thing i also find that at the moment they're getting rid of all their summer stock ready to put their autumn stock out so you can get a few little bargains for the summer and if you like me i like a bit of winter so things are a bit different at the moment but we i like a bit of winter sun and i tend to buy my stuff in september in case i have a winter sun holiday so i feel very much because I know things have just started coming out in the shops about that time. But I just want to be organised and ready. Anyway, so Dorothy Perkins this one was. And this was a size 12. And this was from the PDSA. And I don't know if you can see that. That was £2.49. Now it's sort of, I would say it's a little bit like a tiger print. Which, or um, an animal print. It's actually got a little bit of blue in it. I don't know if you can see that, like a bit of blue. Um, or aqua green. Sort of like this colour. Um, yeah, so that was, because it's all see-through, I don't know if it originally had a lining and it was a, like a dress, or whether that was a beach cover-up, but that is what I would wear it for, a beach cover-up to chuck over a swimming costume, personally, because it is see-through. It's very pretty, it's got frilled sleeves. And uh, little tiny gold flecks, which suits me with a bit of bling. Right, the next one I thought was um, a really nice, really nice buy, actually. It's a size 12 again, and it's brand new, and it's a Jasper Comran. I don't know if you can see that up there. So it's a Jasper Comran, and it's got a brand new tag on it, Jasper Comran tag. Um, and obviously that was from Debenhams, it's got Debenhams on the back as well, so that's the designer by Debenhams. Um, that was a size 12, it was originally on there for £4. I got it on the sale row, so that's why it's worth looking for your sale rows in your charity shops because they're getting rid of their summer stuff. And I paid a pound, one pound for that and that's brand new. And it's really pretty, it's got, I don't know if you can see the sleeves, the sleeves are quite sheer and got like little sequins on them, but they're like little clear sequins. And so it goes all the way around the neckline. And it sort of gathers in a bot at the bottom a little bit. And it's quite low and it's a little bit ruffled there, which I really thought was pretty. So I really like that. I would personally, um, I'm not a big fan of skirts. I like dresses or trousers or shorts. But I would probably personally wear this with a light coloured... Uh, denim shorts and I thought that would be really nice it sort of dresses it up a little bit but I paid one pound for that and that's a size 12 so I thought that was a great bargain anyway I really like this one as you can see I have gone along a bit of the tropical theme line excuse the wild hair today haven't had a chance to blow dry it so this is Angela just gone wild um yeah so it's in the middle of growing it's in the middle of styles and uh Anyway, so this is my t-shirt. I don't know if you can see that. It's a, a really lovely print. Once again, it's got these little sort of um, stone diamante things on them, which are like a silvery colour. And this is on, this is uh, the colour, the background colour is white and the leaves are sort of black with a lime green but i quite liked that because it ruched a bit at the bottom which looked quite flattering I, I thought that was quite nice once again i'd probably wear that with black shorts um for the summer and that was the pdsa and that was two pound 49 so that was two pound 49 that one that was the pdsa again and i'm not sure if i said about the pink one the pink one was actually from a local hospice shop, which is Farley's Hospice. Right, um, this one too was from Farley's Hospice, but this is the only one that I'm probably going to donate back. Now, I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos before, but um, normal circumstances or normal times, we quite like music festivals. And I don't mean... Um, probably the really young ones. We actually go to like soul ones or... 80s or 90s I do the 80s rewind um anything like that um we did have one very close to us over where I live and that was quite nice because it was a real mixture of people it was like um 
Tony Hadley from Spandau Ballet and it was um, S Club 7 and people like that. So I really like a mixture of music. And at the festivals, people like to dress up. So if you're a regular, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I bought this, but I have tried this on. I tried it on because I got very excited. And I'll be honest, I don't really like it on me. Um, it's pretty and it's good, but I, and I also thought, at a festival, you need to be able to use the loo easy enough. And I think I'd struggle getting in and out of this one. So it fits, but I didn't like it on. Oh, look at that bling. Look at that. How cool is that? Now, it's originally from Primark. Look at all that bling going on. Um, but that was reduced in the local Farley's hospice shop, and it was £4. But because it was in the sale, I got it for £2. Not a bad price. Happy to donate it back or happy to give it to someone I know. So that was originally from Primark and the tags are still on it, brand new, for £12. So it was a good bargain at £2. Very good bargain. Right, going on to this one. Um, I quite like this. I know it's bright, but I think with um, a pair of leggings, as you can see, it's a really long top with the knot that goes up at the front, but it's really long at the back, which is nice because it covers my bum. Um, so... This is from Primark, which is Atmosphere, and this was a size 14, and I got that for £1.40, so they'd reduced that. Um, they'd had it up for £2.79, and I got it for £1.40. So that was the, where was that from? British Heart Foundation. So that was the British Heart Foundation, that one. So I'll stand back a bit and you can see it's quite long. It, yeah, you obviously can't wear it as a dress because it's too short at the front. So it definitely does need something underneath it. Whether you wear shorts or cycling shorts or leggings, but you obviously need stuff underneath that one. Right, whew, I'm getting hot. So the next one was a lovely little summery blue dress. This is lovely. I love anything that gives, anything with elastic, Anything that if I've eaten and I stretch, are you a different size in the morning till night time? Because I know I definitely am. So in the mornings I feel a bit slimmer, a bit lighter obviously, and by the end of the day I feel bloated. So um, this is a really handy dress with elastic waist. It's got a frill bit at the front, which I really like. I thought that was really good. Adjustable straps, always handy. And this again was a Primark one. I don't normally buy a lot of Primark from charity shops because I think Primark's reasonable enough as it is. But in all fairness, I really like this. And I thought, well, I haven't actually seen it in Primark this year. So this would be a little handy dress just to chuck in a suitcase to go away with. So this was size 14. And this was 2 99 And this was from the PDSA as well. So I, I quite like that. I thought that was a lovely little summer dress. Now, before I head on to the next one that I've got, whilst I was in there, um, whilst I was in there, I bought this. Um, this was from Age Concern, but I actually thought it might go with the dress. So this was, I really love a chunky, as you can see, I really love chunky and unusual necklaces, but I thought this was really nice and it would really set an outfit off lovely. Now this was 2 99 and this was from Age Concern. So I bought that and I actually thought, maybe. And then I see another necklace. So this other necklace, this was bought from, um, where did I buy this one from? Oh, this was Bernardo's. It has got the tag on it, but it has, actually hasn't got the name. So that was two pound from Bernardo's. And I thought that was really lovely to set a little outfit off. I thought that was really pretty. So I love that. It's almost like a gunmetal silver. It's not like a bright, shiny silver. It's like a gunmetal silver. So, um, yeah, so I was really pleased with that. So I'm not sure what I've put that with yet, but I'm sure I'm going to find something to wear with that. All right, let's get on to the one last dress that I bought. Um, well, no, it, I wouldn't call it a dress, actually. It's quite short for a dress. Well, I think it is. So I would probably wear it either with really thick tights in the winter or I would wear it with leggings. Um, in the summer, I'm not sure if I'd wear it as a dress. But it was this. And it's got really 
a lovely bit on the bottom there as you can see the pattern is really sweet and really lovely um it's got a bit of a frill there and then um collars on there so it only does up to there which is a little bit low um so i don't know if i'd wear a vest top underneath it or just try and put pressed on it or something um the sleeves are very nice they're very cute they've got little buttons on the end and it's got a tie belt which is lovely that was from the pdsa2 and that was three pound 49 and that is a i don't know if you can see that that is a red herring that is from red herring and that's a size 14 as well yeah so i thought that was really nice for that dress so um i was trying to find my tights to show you what i'd wear them because i've actually got tights this bluey color this sort of turquoisey blue which are be nice if you wanted to go a bit wild with black uh boots so um i'll either wear it with that or i have got a pair of black and that color turquoise boots that were originally joe brown's from a charity shop so yeah whether i wear them with black tights and then boots i'm not sure so uh yeah that was really nice really liked that now i was going to a wedding and um, I bought a dress in the sale, which I will show you on another haul because that was a brand from a brand new company, not second hand. And I was desperate in need of a bag. I had to do this. Um, I got this outfit sorted within two or three days. Bit of a long story, but it was a bit of a rush. So um, I needed a bag. Now I have got, and the dress has got quite a bit of cerise pink in it. And I have got a really nice cerise pink bag. And when I looked, it had silver handles. But I needed something with gold and not silver. So I run down my local charity shop warehouse where they do do stuff for a pound. And they have rows and rows and rows of bags, which is really good. I thought, oh, that's my only option. I've got to try there. And I found this little number. So I thought, oh, it looked really cute with my dress for a pound. That will do for a wedding. Um, so whenever I wear the dress, I will keep this bag. Um, when I get fed up with things a year or two down the line, I'll just pass it all back. So someone else can have the benefit of it if they've got a wedding to go to. But that has actually got a zip in it. It was quite big. It was big enough for the day to carry your tissues, your lippy and your camera and whatever you need to carry. So that was quite big. And it's obviously like a padded effect with some handles with gold on it, which was perfect because I had one with silver. So that really did the job. So, yeah, well done, charity shops, for coming up the mark on that one. Now, I saw this, and I thought of a lovely little lady in my life. If she watches this, she'll know what I'm talking about. Um, this was from Age UK, and this is $1.99. And it does look like a big pencil sharpener, because that's what it's meant to look like. But it's a pen or pencil holder. Now what I thought I'd do before I give it to her, because she's just had her bedroom done up, and her bedroom is white and black with baby pink accessories. I was actually thinking, because she's got a white desk, to paint it pink, baby pink, and give it to her, because she started back at school, and it'd be really good to put her accessories on there. So I thought that was a lovely present to hold your pens and pencils. Um, how cute is that? Like a big pencil sharpener. I would have kept it, but I do have two. Mm. So I really, really don't need another one. But you could use it for makeup brushes as well, really. But I do already have a pot. So it will go lovely on her desk. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Painting this wood baby pink. Anyway, in the hot weather like this, my friend that I went shopping with, because we had this girly day, um she said she's got one of these because she has to work from home on her desk and um she said she found it very very useful and it is a plug-in fan a desktop one and it's a usb port so while you're at your computer you can plug it in <sighs> i think i need it now anyway so um yeah it looked really good and she said they are so good so i actually couldn't resist it it was 1.99 and that is from Age UK 2. I don't know if you can see that. It's USB powered, adjustable angle, solid metal. And my desk, I've got all that uh, rose gold 
accessories at the desk so I thought that'd be really good so you've got a little on off button at the back and that's your little fan and you plug it in while you're working away so that's going to be really handy um yeah I thought that was really cute I think you can actually get um adapters as well can't you so that if you just want to plug it in somewhere so if I was doing my makeup I've, I've got a plug that I can plug it in and put it there and it'll cool me down while I'm doing my makeup yeah so that was that so that was 199 so I'm really pleased with that also so basically that is my charity shop haul for today so I really hope you've enjoyed it uh, this is my September shop um, I didn't get any shoes or boots or anything like that in with it today um, but you can only get what's there and what's donated and what you like so it is a matter of rummaging so support your local charity shops um, also I find you could go in one one day and then you can go there two days later and there'll be other stuff in there so I'll always check them out I, as I walk past them whether I'm going up to the town or whatever I just walk past have a little brief look and walk out and sometimes something really catches your eye when you really are not expecting it so um yeah look out for the October's one because I have got one coming in October for charity shop hauls and also I've got a sales one coming up where I went out in the sales and I want to show you what I bought in the sales so um yeah hope you enjoyed these videos if you did give us a thumbs up Leave a comment if you want to know anything or if you want to ask anything and I will do my utmost to get back. If not, straight away I will get back. So it just might be a bit of time before I actually see it. Um, and hit the notification bell and please subscribe. That would be really good. So anyway, hope you have a good time looking around your charity shops and you all soon. See you later. Bye.